No MBA program has risen more aggressively in the rankings and in public perceptions in the last two decades than the Yale SOM, which only really became the SOM in 1994 and started offering an MBA in 1999. Now, with an impressive cutting-edge building, an innovative integrated curriculum, and a billion-dollar-plus endowment, the Yale SOM is on a trajectory that many think will enable it to enter the truly elite M7, becoming the M8, I guess. Today, the SOM accepts under 20% of its applicants, and Assistant Dean for Admissions Bruce Delmonico recently told me in an interview that he unsurprisingly rejects many more qualified applicants than he can accept. Hi, I'm Jeremy Scheinwald, founder of MBA Mission, and in this video, I'll give you my tips for getting in. One thing you should know is that the Yale SOM has put a lot of work and true research into their application, striving to attract and assemble a diverse class in a fair, accessible process. They ask narrow questions that are specific to assessing candidates, so they have a shorter application than most programs. At the same time, to get the full picture of who their applicants are, they've pioneered additional application elements, including the video component and the behavioral assessment. More on those elements later. But generally speaking, Yale is looking for applicants who are best positioned to be impactful while on campus and then ultimately prove capable of fulfilling the SOM's mission of developing leaders for business and society. As such, candidates will want to get, their, get across their leadership accomplishments their professional community and personal accomplishments as well. It's interesting that Yale's class is made up almost equally of business, STEM, economics, and humanities undergraduate majors. While humanities are well represented, Yale is now near the top in GMAT and GRE averages with a 730 GMAT average and a 166 verbal and 165 quant as an average on the GRE. So expectations aren't diminished for anyone. Those are high scores. Why? Well, scores drive rankings, but also Yale's unique approach to raw cases requires students to sift through volumes of data to identify key information and dispense of unimportant information as they holistically solve organizational challenges. While average scores are high, a GMAT or GRE alone won't get you in. Yale wants to be sure that applicants fit within and value the small supportive community of approximately 350 students. So Yale is looking for students who have been and will be engaged, active, and positive community members. So authenticity is a rule. The admissions committee can tell if you're trying too hard to differentiate yourself in a way that isn't true to your core values. We suggest that you really think about your values and communicate them across the application elements. With only one question of 500 words, applicants can be forgiven for experiencing a little stress as they consider their Yale essay topic. Yale developed their Describe Your Biggest Commitment prompt in collaboration with Amy Rosniewski, a professor of organizational behavior at the SOM, to get at the core of what an applicant really cares about. In terms of a topic, the admissions committee wants you to focus on what is truly meaningful to you. There's no right topic or even right area, personal, professional, community, all in the ballpark. But hopefully, whatever you write gets at who you are and is distinctive. Keep in mind, it's not just the topic and why it's important to you. Yale wants to learn how you've approached this important commitment. Be sure to show specific actions and impact that show how you've engaged with this commitment. The admissions team can learn a lot about you by experiencing just how committed you are. Yale can be said to have a hidden essay in its application. There's a 250 word career goals question within the application where you'll have to identify your goals in a thoughtful way and then explain how you intend to pursue them by citing specific Yale SOM resources that reveal a connection between the school and your very goals. Additionally, you should have the opportunity to focus more on your career and MBA aspirations in your interview. Speaking of which, the video interview. Yale was one of the first programs to introduce a video component in its application, which helps the admissions committee gain a sense of your communication skills and all but forces you to be authentic because you're very much in the moment. It's also worth mentioning the behavioral assessment as Yale is the only major program using this tool which is administered by ETS, the organization which administers the GRE. The assessment takes about 20 minutes to complete and forces you to choose one of two pairs of statements which you identify with personally. You shouldn't worry about right versus wrong because there's no right or wrong. Instead, the presence of this component 
should emphasize that Yale SOM is really just focused on interpersonal and intrapersonal competencies associated with business school success. Just respond honestly and sincerely and let the adcom interpret the data for you. Okay, these are our preliminary thoughts on how to get into the Yale School of Management. If you want to learn more about your competitiveness for this program, schedule a free 30-minute consultation with MBA Mission by clicking the link below. Our team of admissions experts is standing by to give you thoughtful, candid advice. I'd also recommend that you download our Insider's Guide to the Yale SOM to learn even more about this program. It's free on our website and linked in the description below. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get more MBA admissions and application tips, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Best of luck with your application to the Yale SOM and to all schools.